Hi everyone. In today's video, I will show you the difference between lazy loading, eager loading and eager lazy loading. They are all used for loading relationship data. So let's get started. For this, I have created a Laravel project and inside I have created a migration for post table. Inside the post model, I have defined the user relationship. So a post belongs to a user. I have also added thousand record in the database using model factories and tinker. So let's get into our controller and see what is the difference between using each of them. So inside our controller first, let's take a look at lazy loading. So I'm fetching all the records of post from my database and then I'm looping through them and fetching the relationship data which is user. So let's see how many queries are executed for this. If I go to my browser, hit refresh, so you can see there were 1001 queries that were executed for 1000 record of posts. So when using lazy loading, we can run into a problem called n plus 1, in which our queries are executed n plus 1 time. So we had 1000 posts and our query executed for 1001 times. Now let's change our code for eager loading. For that, I'm just going to copy paste this and I'm going to comment this one out just for reference purposes. And for eager loading, what we have to do is we have to use a with method. So I'm going to say with user. So it will eager load the relation with our post records. So now if I save and go back to the browser, hit refresh and you can see that only two queries were executed for this. So you can see the difference between lazy loading and eager loading. So let's look into the third way of fetching relationship data, which is lazy eager loading. So for that, let's go back to our code and I'm just going to come on this one. And for lazy eager loading, we just need to use a method that is provided on our collection, which is load. So if I hit save, go back to the browser and hit refresh. We can see that only two queries were executed in this case as well. Now let's talk about the use cases for these. If I go back to my code and talk about lazy loading. So with lazy loading, you saw that we ran into a problem of n plus one. So probably we will never use lazy loading. So instead of using lazy loading simply, you can use lazy eager loading which will work as an eager loading, but you can load your relationship data after you have fetched the results from the database. Eager loading on the other hand solves the problem of n plus one that is occurred in lazy loading. Eager loading is best you want to manipulate or use the relationship data right after retrieving it from the database. So that is it for this video. I hope you have liked the content and found it useful. If this video was helpful for you, kindly give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching this video.